<laughs> okay, first match of the uh, day. It's going to be none other than Guernica versus Yushi. Guernica, a Faust player in Yushi who has already been participating to previous iterations of the Brodro Cup. A very, very, very strong Melia. Melia who has quite recently been buffed, by the way. So definitely looking forward to see how this is going to pan out. And as for now, very nice anti right there from Guernica. It's Yushi right out of the air. If you ever do it with a very nice pacing, still gets punished by the standing, uh, the standing S for us of Guernica. Very nice air to air right there. Counter hit from Guernica. He could have had the full conversion, but fortunately for you, he, he had a burst to get out of trouble. We go with the dive. He's gonna get the hard knockdown. Well, uh, just a normal knockdown. Okay, corner pressure is on. Yuhi found the opening. Unfortunately, he got bursted on and was. Ooh, uh, Nice air to air counter hit. He's gonna use the super. Hopefully, he's not gonna get hit by the bomb. Oh, that was so close. I really thought he was gonna get hit by the bomb. Good stuff from. Oh, from Yuhi. And Yuhi is out for blood. He wants to get it. He gets the empty low and he's gonna get the kill. Nice first round by Yuhi. Takes it very, very convincingly. So let me check real quick the rest of the bracket to see if everything is okay and nobody is asking for me and that's it. perfect. And here we go with the wall break by Yushi. Konbanwa, Chequin, Shiwasura. Zanen desu ne, Stura-san. Mo shiwake dai desu, mo sude ni kashi shite rin de. Etto, go sanka wa mata, mata mo, etto, jikai no brood hai de onegai shimasu. Mo shiwake dai desu. そうですね。えっと、アナウンスにもえっと、もう少し早めにえっと、私がお知らせすればよかったですね。えっと、チェックインをするように。はい、また今度でお願いします。ありがとうございます。Here we it's only normal that Yuhi is a force to be re reckoned with, and um, yeah, he's just doing so, so well right now. And here we go, very nice pacing right there from Guernica, forces Yuhi to burst to get out of trouble. <laughs> and here we go with the... Kill by Yushi takes the first round of the second match very convincingly. It's still definitely not over till it's over. Little Faust is in. Oh, and so far, so close, but so far from the Little Faust. He did manage to push her ever so slightly, and Little Faust decided to make a comeback and just to, you know, uh, to land on Melia to interrupt her uh, attempt to uh, hit Dr. Faust. Dude, I'm so sorry. I think I signed up, but I had complete mind blank today. So lost track of time. Okay, well, uh, if you didn't check in, then you're not you uh, you're not. Um, how do you say? If you didn't check in, normally you shouldn't be uh, in the tournament. How come on? So don't worry. Thanks, like one, no problem. <clears throat> well, if you didn't check in, it's not a problem. If you don't check in, you're automatically out of the tournament. So it's not a problem. I don't think you checked in, right? <laughs> and here we go with the second match for Yushi. Extremely strong performance. And on to the potential last. Uh, match of this exchange and so far here we go with Faust immediately recognizes that he got the trumpet but unfortunately he throws Yuhi right on it but finds the way to just double jump over the legion of small Faust which were called and summoned by the trumpet so that being said here we go with the sledge by Melia goes on a land uh, just jumps straight on Guernica <laughs> finds the knockdown Guernica is forced to burst. Very nice conversion by Yushi. Too far to get hit by the banana. Goes for the uh, overhead and then to the empty low. Very tricky stuff. Just Yushi being extremely, extremely persistent in his onslaught right there. Okay, and here we go on to potentially the last match of this. Oh my lord, and here we go with you, he man. Definitely on point, doesn't want to get anti air whatsoever. <coughs> Damn, and here we go. Finally, Grenica. Oh, finally, Grenica found something, and just like this, you he is already back in full aggression mode. And again, with the sledge, he's gonna get the uh, 
<laughs> he's gonna get the uh, the um, I was gonna say the raid art, but no, bad. It's not. It's not this game. Oh, and he got the bait of the gold burst, and just like this, you he takes it a strong three. Ken Ken on Steam isn't the beauty of crossplay absolutely resplendent? I don't know if it's an English word. <laughs> Probably not, but it's okay. Who cares? I'm I'm not an English speaker. Anyways, here we go. On to the next battle. Another cross battle, by the way. This is extremely, extremely exciting to see that both players who had no uh, chance whatsoever to play against each other now are capable of doing so thanks to the crossplay. And here we go with Zell, as I have said, a previous Tatakai Tuesday champion, extreme beast with Potemkin. He has the reeds of a god. Ooh, he can condition you, and here we go with the anti air by Zell, forces Kenken to pop the burst. Here we go with Kenken trying to. <laughs> oh, I learned the back Mega Fist right there. Very nice stick throw right there from Ken Ken. Pushes Zell in the corner. Goes again for the throw. And here we go with. Oh, and he got the burst. Damn, man. Ken Ken on point. And here we go. He takes. He steals this first round so convincingly. Good stuff by Ken Ken. Let's see if Zell can bring it back together. It's definitely just one round. It doesn't mean anything. Very nice um, back dash into the. Uh, I think somebody called me. One second. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, you can... Really... Yeah. Hey, you can miss your... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, here we go. This should be. <laughs> okay, here we go with ah uh, the aerial approach by Ken 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 doing a good job of doing ins and outs just to stay out of the range of Zell and punish him on reaction. Extremely nice, completely full, well fully charged dust. He gets the full combo off of it. Zell unfortunately. Oh my lord! And the back dash into the. Put him the Potemkin Buster. And you're oh he oh no he got golden burst. He tried to oh it should be okay. No and he baited the burst this time around. Very nicely done by Ken Ken. The awareness of this person, man. Ken Ken on point, man, on fire if I might say. That was extremely well done. <laughs> Uh, okay, we're good. <laughs> Sorry for the wait. So, here we go with the counter hit this time around. And again, Ken Ken just putting Zell in the corner. Doesn't let him a single second to breathe. He's got the... Oh, he had the soft knockdown. Right? Not the soft knockdown. Oh, okay, here goes with the aerial overdrive. Fortunately for Zell, he was able to... Oh, okay, here we go. He pops a burst. Zell definitely confident, trying to make a hero comeback right there. He definitely has a life deficit, and he gets he gets swooped by the very, very, very bewildering speed of Giovanna. Very nice whiff punishes right there from Ken. Ken, 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 taking into the airs. Oh, okay. Catches the back dash of Zell with his standing HS. Yes, standing HS. But again with Ken Ken just reacting to these uh, sliding head uh, to the slider's head and here we go with the new combo from Giovanna man good stuff he's gonna get the wall break positive bonuses oh lord and Ken Ken being extremely extremely patient and Zell just having so much trouble right there trying to yeah okay here we go again with Ken Ken man the patient of this person man second match goes to Ken Ken what is going to happen? What is the what is Zell going to do? We do trust in him. Zell is a comeback monster. Please do not discount him unless well unless he has already lost because Zell is really the kind of person to adapt extremely quickly to his ad adversary. So let's see, let's not count him out. Okay, here we go with Zell trying to <laughs> check the approaches of Kenken by using the 2S. Unfortunately for him, Kenken is just too good at really confirming and whiff punishing every single one of the buttons of Zell. 
We go with the wall break yet again by Ken Ken. He has the positive bonus already on the road. Oh, Lord, here we go. The YRC doesn't want to deal. Oh, and a raw Nasante, man. What? What went through his head and he gets the throw for the kill. And just like this, we are on match point. Zell, what are you gonna do, Zell? What is gonna happen? Okay, and here we go back to the neutral. Again with the whip punishes, man. Ken Ken has been has been has been on point for this. Oh, okay, we go with the slider head. No punishes on this, but still, yeah, Zell having problems. Uh maintaining the really confirming uh that really he has problem not oh lord here we go the positive get buster oh this is gonna kill yes it is we go with the uh, the uh, heat knuckle <laughs> good stuff from Zell finally showing uh life life signs right there hopefully he can oh I do it again unfortunately his super armor gets blown he gets the golden burst into the wake up Garuda man the double wake up Garuda and look at the damage Zell is going crazy man Zell is in it, man. He's in, he's in. Okay, he tried to... Oh, okay. Good stuff. Ah, uh, no. Yeah, she tried to grab him here. <laughs> here we go with the butt slam. Again with the whip punishes right there from Ken. Ken, no! Okay, here we go. Okay. No, not something for you this time around. Okay. Oh, no! Okay, he got him. Yes, he got him. He's got him. He's got him. Perfect. Good stuff, by Zell. Finally. And just like this, Zell manages to put one on the board. We need one more and we'll have a match, ladies and gentlemen. Very good stuff by Zell, though. Very nice adaptation, not gonna lie. That was a very good. Okay, here we go. Ah, this time around, you can see Zell using the two, uh, the two P to try to check the dashes from uh, from Ken Ken. Ah, okay, nobody home. Here we go with the butt. Oh no, he tried to go for Yaruda. Oh, and he just defend on the burst. This is very bad news for Zell. He's in the corner once again. He gets grabbed. Not enough to extend to kill. Ah, and here we go with the god. The confirms by Ken Ken. He's gonna get the yeah the kill with the wall break damage. Good stuff. <laughs> okay, here we go on to potentially the final round of this match. <laughs> Okay, here we go with the juggles and Ken Ken getting again. A wall break, good stuff. Ah, nice whiff punish on the Mega Fist with the grab, nevertheless, and he goes in for the grab again. Into the RC, into death. This should do if he doesn't drop. Very, very strong performance by Ken Ken. So, Kohide versus Bro. <laughs> Two very strong players, masters of their respective characters. As you can see, Kohida has been grinding in and out from Giovanna, man. 12,000, level 12,000, it is crazy. <laughs> that being said, here we go, first round of this. Uh, an immediate burst from Bro uses the newly acquired buffs from Jacko to throw the minion in the air. Kohide being very, very, very patient in his uh, approach. Okay, goes with an ID. Unfortunately, gets grabbed on his way down. Very nice conversion right there from Bro. Goes for the mixes. I catch his backdash. And he should be able to close it out with the damage of the overdrive. Driver! Oh, yes, it is going to kill. Good stuff from Bro. Takes the first round extremely convincingly. On to the second match. It is the first round. It doesn't mean anything. If anything, everybody knows that Kohide can make a very nice comeback. That big cross up was godlike. That was crazy good. We go with the schmixes. Ah, it goes for a quick dust. Unfortunately, Kohide and the reactions, man. Young man reaction right there. He does get wall broken, unfortunately. Ooh, and bro getting hit on his way down to the ground. Gets completely juggled. Look at the damage, my lord. Half of your life evaporated just like water. Ah. And here we go with the aerial grab by bro. Takes it very convincingly. Very nice first match from bro. Not... Um, not uh, uh, getting hit by <laughs> well, not uh, getting overwhelmed by uh, uh, by the what's called? by the ferocity of uh, of Kohide. Ah, Kohide almost got the oh well carry. He's gonna get the wall break this time around. Okay, it finishes with a Nasante for the wall break. Very my lord. That dash under the fireball, man. Under the Akuma fireball, the Akuma Doken from. Jacko for the kill.
Good stuff. Here we go on to the second round. Oh, an immediate 2k into Judy. Again, Raw Nasante, man. This is the Kohide special. Just doing Raw Nasantes at moments that you would not expect. Very nice 2k 2d. He's got the knockdown. And on to, again, that fake cross-up has been catching Kohide. So much Kohide pops the overdrive. Okay, doesn't commit, and that was the good answer to do. He's gonna be able to punish adequately, even get the corner carry. The yeah, corner, uh, the side switch. <laughs> okay, there we go, back into minion land. You're in my world now, biatch. <laughs> that is what Bra is saying right there. Manages to take the second round, though. Very nicely done. Oh, look, a raw charge dust right there. Okay, fortunately for Bro, he doesn't land on the two, uh, D6. The 6 feet of Kohide. We go fireball. Fireball again. <clears throat> oh lord, and he gets sweeped. No feet for you. Nerf Kai. <laughs> Not for now. <laughs> Not now. Uh, yeah, I, I think you're gonna have to wait a lot before uh, they, they nerf Kai, in my, in my opinion. Anyways, here we go with the burst. And here we go with Kohide just catching these bag dashes. You can smell that Bro doesn't want to be. Oh, and he pops the overdrive. This is gonna be a big punish. He gets the side switch, and he's gonna get the kill. Oh, optimization station right there. Make you side switch and still deal a heck ton of damage. Good stuff from Kohide. Manages to take the second match this time around. We have one match, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Lord. <laughs> here we go with the jump in. Fortunately for Bro, he's saved by the minion. Minion traded with the aerial approach from Kohide. And here we go with Kohide with the corner carry. Goes for the low. He's gonna get the wall break into the spiral arrow. Well, spiral arrow into the wall break. Again with the dashes from Kohide. This time around, Bro was on point with the punish. And again with the wake up overdrive. Oh my lord! And Bro didn't commit to anything and punishes it adequately, adequately with. Uh, the overdrive of his own this time around. Oh, Kohide with the back dash gets jumped in, unfortunately. Oh, and the aerial overdrive by Kohide should do or not, actually. No, it is. Okay. Okay, I definitely underestimated it. Good stuff from Kohide takes the first round. <clears throat> okay, no jump in for you. Fortunately for bro, he was already on the ground when Kohide committed to the 6P. <laughs> oh, Lord, and the confirms. That was definitely a new route. Oh lord, okay, okay. Overdrive blows the uh the the guard point. I wasn't aware of this. Ooh, and you caught yeah, Kohide catching bro mashing buttons right there on his Trovao. Oh lord. A uh, simple Turo, is it? I think it's simple Turo. Not Turo. And again with the aerial, but oh the aerial overdrive, but nobody's home. And here we go with the grab. Bro needs to make something happen. He goes for a cross up this time around, not the fake one. Ah, oh, and he catches the bag dash yet again. Good stuff. Here we go. Back to pressure station. Ah, he goes for the quick grab, the quick dust. But Kohida's guard is just too strong, man. Too strong. He kills a minion with such ease. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah. For now, <laughs> definitely uh, advantage to Kohide. He secures the second match as well. Let's see if Koide can keep this. Oh, again with the wake up gold burst. Very nice for Bro. He was able to get <coughs> the. <coughs> the uh, to catch the dash of Koide. He goes for the. Oh, again. Should be okay though. There we go with Koide. Goes for the cross up. Has Bro right in the corner. Fetches him with the Nasante out of the air. Oh, he don't point with the minion killing spree. <laughs> Fortunately for him, he is in the corner this time around, and he's going to eat Elysium Driver in the face. Get out of here! Good stuff by bro. Finally, finally. Momentum shift. We shall see. I'll get on to the second round of this third match. Fourth match, actually. <laughs> Very nice back dash from Kohide. Punishes the uh, throw attempt also for bro. Okay, goes for the uh, flip kick. There we go, it's uh, the minion station. <clears throat> Very nice center right there from Bro. Again with the bag dashes, man, and uses the Samurai on the 6 HS to catch the bag dashes uh, of Kohide. <laughs> with the empty uh, save jump. Oh lord. Very nice grab. Okay, he's gonna go for it. The, uh, yeah, fake. The fake cross up. 
That worked all this time, but not this time, unfortunately. Okay, here we go. Caught you. Caught you dashing once again. And just like this, Varel is going to put one more on the... Oh, or not. Okay, here we go with the OTZ. Perfect. Okay. I lied. I lied. Good stuff from Bro. We have two matches apiece, ladies and gentlemen. This is a uh, perfect... Um, perfect... Uh, how do you call it? Um, they have the same amount of uh, matches win, basically. Anyways, that being said, here we go. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Bro playing like a Kai player. Just running from the other side of the screen just to grab you. As long as it works. Good stuff. Kohide does have the corner position, though. He goes for the aerial overdrive. Oh, Lord. Ah, on point with the 6P, though. And he gets the extension again with the air to air in favor of Kohide. He's going to get the kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is death. Or not, he drops it. This is uncharacteristic. Okay, bro still has one more chance if he can chip. Yeah, chip Kohide in the corner. He tried to bait the YRC, unfortunately for him. Kohide was aware of it, didn't commit to uh, this uh, dangerous situation, and was able to uh, live to fight another day. Okay, again, he's got bro in the corner. Bro forced to pop the... Pop the V-Trigger. Kohide on with the... <clears throat> with the overdrive, it's gonna be the hard knockdown. Ah, and here we go, the take pressure, and just like this, man, Kohide just pumping, man. Pumping, he's just raining. I thought it was gonna be none other than Nexer versus the Mugi. Let's see how this spins out. <clears throat> oh, Nexer from Korea, I'm sorry, not from uh, Japan. I am going to change his flag right away. Korea, Korea, and there we go. <laughs> okay, and here we go with Nexer. Rocking Faust, Faust who has been uh, buffed recently, I do believe, especially in this uh, version of the game as well. And again, with the command grab catches, the back dash with the 2S on point with not only the anti airs, but also, oh my lord, look at everything. Look at all of the items, man. But fortunately for Mugi, he did. <gasps> oh lord, he got. It. Oh, <laughs> this was so unfortunate. Magori, uh, uh, Mugi just. Oh, okay, very nice. Far HS right there hits. Faust out of it, and next we're going ham with the items, man. He's hitting everything. Oh, very nice closest. A little bit too far to get any sort of. <gasps> and the air two are in favor of Nexer. Nexer looking very good. Wow, that was crazy, Lord. Very nice Nexer, man. That was crazy good. Okay, and here we go. Second round. Very nice for uh, 6P from Mugi to punish the uh, far S from, uh, from Nexer. <laughs> here we go, conversion station with uh, Nixer using Mix 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 to try to close, well, to bring uh, Mugi in the corner. Here we go with the trumpet, probably. Okay, Mugi resorting to just completely ignore the trumpet and just get the damage and the kill in the process. Very nice momentum shift right there for Mugi. Uh, so I'm just gonna check real quick. Okay, good stuff. <laughs> Unfortunately, RX is in the losers. <laughs> okay, and here we go with the wall break right there from Mugi. Look at the damage still. But next, are definitely looking good. And Mugi again with the 6P. Almost got. Oh, he almost got the hit in. Okay, here we go with the Meteo, man. Yeah, Mugi having to eat a lot of bombs. Ah, again with the Meteors. <laughs> oh, okay, oh look, as you can see man, Nicks are doing a good job of just keeping Mugi out, he goes for the side switch. And we have Little Faust, I think Nixer was waiting for this and he's gonna get hit by the overdrive. Yeah. Oh, and saved by the, oh no! He was saved, oh yeah, he got, uh, unfortunately for Nixer, he gets his feet, uh, well, completely swept. Good stuff by Mugi, manages to seal the first match let's see if he can keep this up <laughs> very nice close s and this is gonna do a lot of damage okay it's nixer forced to pop the burst okay here we go nixer back into zoning mode okay nixer manages to get the trumpet again with the ton a lot of items on the on the stage and here we go with Moogie back in. Oh, yeah, but he didn't have anything to cancel. And the burst has been baited. He gets the side switch and also a very nice corner carry to the side switch. 
Oh, and the big 2D counter hit. This is gonna... Nope, not gonna seal the deal. Nice afro on the Mugi. Gonna put some fire in it. And the dust. Quick dust for the kill. Good stuff by Nexer. Again on to duel and uh, number two. <laughs> Good stuff by Nexer. Even gets the bomb. And unfortunately, yeah, very nice reflexes from Mugi to throw the bomb back right at him. He gets the corner, the uh, the command grab. Mugi maintaining the pressure, finds the opening with the uh, close S and immediately resorts to ending this. We'll go with this third, actually. Yep, the final round of this second match. Nexer absolutely needs this one for the mental and not to be down 2 to 0. That would be actually very catastrophic for him. And here we go with the mixes, but I think that Mugi was waiting for this. Oh, Lord, okay, he can actually low profile this now. This is bad. For Mugi. Oh, and the big 60 counter hit. Oh, oh, oh Lord. <laughs> and here we go with again. Wow, next turn the check. And is this gonna do? No, it's not. So far, but so close, man. And Mugi fighting for his life right now. He has the life deficit not looking good and he gets the grab man this is crazy he goes immediately for the overdrive he's gonna get the full animation with the hard knockdown which is the most important thing that he was looking for what is gonna be the mix ah and just a plain old grab for the kill moogie man brings it back to the z good stuff man keeping the lead okay here we go with the third match potentially final match of this set Mugi definitely looking good it's definitely not totally one-sided but you can see that yeah Nexer is definitely he's kind of struggling to maintain the pressure and he gets screwed by his own army and Mugi with the wall break gonna get the positive bonus and we go with the pressure and again man Mugi fighting the opening immediately resorts to using the overdrive for the kill and just like this we are on match point okay we go with the close pressure this time around nexer checking the fukio of mugi he gets the double mix 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 into the wall a splat no he's oh no i don't know if it was a an input error or something this was kind of unfortunate but it's still okay just like this nexer actually <laughs> Normally, oh yes, he's gonna... No! No! Okay, there are several instances where I don't really understand what Nixer was trying to do there, but he, he might have, like, a, a good strategy or something. But, yeah, I, twice he could have get the kill, I felt, and he just kept the, the wall spot as it was. I don't really know, but, well, well, maybe he has a strategy for it, or he probably thought that it wasn't gonna kill, I suppose. Okay, anyways, here we go with the wall pressure from Mugi. He's gonna get the wall break. <clears throat> Very nice spacing from Nexer. Unfortunately, gets scooped by the Fukio. Cancel into the. Uh, yeah, this is gonna do a lot of damage. Is it gonna kill? No, it's not. But is there an OTG though? No OTG, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, we go the whiff punish. Good. Oh no, and the bag dash into the 4K for the kill. Good stuff. Here we go, Caffeine versus Pratasai. Caffeine, a. Uh, oh, not a Korean, by the way. Uh, a player who has been participating to the Brojo Cup plenty of times. He has had very, very nice results in it. I do believe he even won one, if I'm correct. And uh, yeah, playing, rocking that Jackal, man. They give him stun block on his super. Oh, they did, they did, they did. Now the uh, install is actually useful, apparently. And he has like an infinite now, actually, with his, uh, with his, uh, what's it called, his install. He has an infinite, but of course you have like wall break, so it's not really infinite. It's infinite un un only until you break the wall. But that being said, here we go with the wake up Illusion and he's gonna get punished. <laughs> Very nice conversion station from Fata. Ah, here we go with the feet that got scooped right there. Captain going for the save jumps. Fortunately for Fata, he did have meter to cancel and make it safe. Here we go with the stun edge. Ah, and Fata, oh, Captain going with the quick dust. Fata not on point with the. Uh, the change of guard, and this should be okay. Yeah, he just went over it and just run up into the punish. Good stuff, man. Also, jump D, also putting in the work. It does, man, it does. Did you see the route that he did on his, on the punish? It was really, really good. Of the super of a cafe. 
So yeah, definitely Jumping D is doing the work as well. Opening up new uh, possibilities. <laughs> Here we go with yeah, Plata getting a little bit flustered right there. Not flustered, um, frustrated. <laughs> flustered. <laughs> a little bit frustrated. So we go with the take pressure, the Fudra Dark, and just popping the DP, man. Hey, Fretta, you should play Leo, not, not Kai. <laughs> Here we go. He's got the corner. Ah, positioning, but Caffeine waking up with the 6P. Punishes the, um, the Fudra Dark. <clears throat> go with the Sun to Pair. <laughs> and Fratta not afraid to just make his way, run towards his enemy and just pressing buttons. Good stuff from Caffeine. Takes the first round quite, or the first match quite convincingly actually. Good stuff from both opponents, that being said. And uh, here we go, second match is Fratta going to find a way to reserve the momentum, reverse the momentum. Everything going fine, I think. Yeah, probably, probably. Everything good. And here we go with the Vapor Thrust, man. And here we go with the Direct Law. And finally, Capri making his way out of the corner with the forward HS. This is going to be a big punish from Capri. Not only did he get the punish, he got the burst as well. Capri going with the uh, save jumps to bait the DP from Flata Flata out of resources as well as burst. It's looking quite a dire situation. Tried to punish the... Fudra Dark, but yeah, the jumping gun arc made it so that it was a little bit uh, tricky to try and punish it. Oh, hi yo! Oh, Shiho san, Sashimi desu! Ohayo gozaimasu! And here we go with the kill by Cafe. Manages to take the first round of the second match as well. Furata having a little bit of a problem to adjust to all of this uh, pressure. Oh, okay, very nice there to air using the minion from Caffeine as a projectile. Very nice snipe right there. Look at the damage, man. Good damage on the minions. <laughs> he gets the grab. What is going to be the schmixes? And Frata afraid to press buttons right there. And this is exactly what Caffeine wanted him to be. Afraid to press buttons and just install his pressure game. Very nice conditioning right there from Caffeine. Kill to rematch. Ah, Sansaki desu. Ah, maybe Frata is going to change character. Sansaki desu. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Oh, chip. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I see you, I see you. Trata has a chip as well. This is pretty cool. Let's see how this pans out then. Okay. So, Kai and chip player this is. So, let's see how this one will go. Trata is down two uh, matches, so he needs to win these two matches if he wants to at least bring it back. Duel if not, it's going to be uh, the end of his winner's side. <coughs> okay, early burst from Caffeine. And again, with the 6 speed checks from Caffeine, immediately hits Frata out of his ascending S. Oh, very nice juggle with the... Oh, and he's gonna get the extension station with the RC. And the wall break will do the rest. For the KL, good stuff from Caffeine. And we are on match point, actually, ladies and gentlemen. Really, really... Yeah, Frata really having a hard time trying to find his way in. And again, with the counter, this is gonna do a lot of damage. Look at the damage. And yeah, Kevin just taking oh it, his distance. Oh, you are still good. Very nice air to air right there. Fine. Oh no, and the wake up over. Oh, driving couldn't get out of it. And just like this, Caffeine steals it. Good job. By that was gonna be none other than zero against Takarin. So zero, very very strong Nago to Yuki player against Takarin, the master of all actuals in Japan at least. A very very strong player, both of them. So definitely looking forward to. How this match is going to unfold. Left side, Zero with Nagori Yuki against Takarin. Right side with Axel. Let's see how this pans out, y'all. But if you want to see, uh, if you want to see guitars, uh, si vous voulez voir de la guitare, uh, wait. Oh, yeah, j'ai une playlist ici, si tu veux. <coughs> Anyways, here we go. On to the next battle, Zero versus Takarin. Let's see the new leaf found power of of uh, <laughs> of Takarin with with Axel. That is very big counter hit right there from Takarin. <clears throat> oh my lord! And resorting to use D2S right there, counter hit. He finds the overhead. Not the overhead. Oh my lord! And the run up, man. The run. Oh lord, and here we go with the Axel Bomber from Takarin immediately gets the kill. Good stuff from Takarin, man. 
Ah, t'as regardé. <rire> merci, merci. Ah, mais j'ai la flemme maintenant de m'y remettre. C'est dur. Oh, here we go with the. Uh, oh, the Beyblade. And finally, Tajani will not finally find the opening with the uh, aerial grab. Zero finally finds the knockdown. Try to go for it. Probably, possibly, potentially a command grab. But yeah, Tajani doing a good job of keeping Zero away. Yeah, Zero having problems making his way. He finally finds the opening. No burst to save you here, but it's okay. Oh, Lord. And he finds the opening with the. Oh, Lord, that combo was sick. Good stuff from Zero, man. Puts one on the corner. Uh, Puts one on the uh, on the board. A one round apiece. Who is going to get the... Oh, the advantage. We shall see. Very nice read from Takarin. Jumps out of the uh, the grab attempt. Oh, okay, here we go. The double Fuki right there. Good to get into 2D by Takarin. Is this the Dokkan? Ah, 2S counter hit. This is going to... Uh, yeah, 2S counter hit. Gonna do a lot of damage. Okay, here we go with Dylan Sengeki. <coughs> Good stuff. Okay, and here we go to jump in and zero. Holding on to the burst, unfortunately. Yeah, that was pretty much a checkmate situation. It was really hard for him to do anything at all during that specific uh that specific um sequence. But anyways, it's still not over. Zero definitely definitely showing signs that it is doable. It's not impossible. Okay, here we go with Takari and Gezren Sengeki. Again with the 2S counter hit. Uh, entire. He uses the rain dance, the rainwater. Oh, Lord. And again with the rainwater. And probably too far to be bursted on right there. Just like this, with the new swaggy combos from Axel. Takarin doing a very good job of showcasing it. <coughs> he uses the uh, just defend to put even more more distance between him, him and his opponents. Nongo <coughs> 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 <laughs> Good stuff from Takarin puts one on the board. Tu t'es trompé un petit peu au niveau des kanji, ça te donnerait ça normalement. Nihongo wa Nihongo wa And very nice stuff from Zero finds the opening and takes the lead actually on this uh, specific on this specific round. Let's see how this pans out. Ah, yeah, but see, but see. And here we go again with zero and Takarin on point with the anti-airs right there. Hits zero out of the air. Again using the rainwater to pull uh, zero towards him. <clears throat> here we go with the, the two HS. Again two HS. Finds the opening with the snail. <coughs> oh lord, and that's that has been working a lot, man. You can definitely feel uh, that Takarin is using Rainwater a lot because Rainwater has obviously been uh, buffed recently and Takarin is using it extremely well, especially in combo sequences again with the Rainwater. It's been doing such a great work of doing so. La kanji to kana, j'ai memorized genre 600 kanji. Comme ça, il m'en reste 1200, c'est fait. Ah, j'ai oublié. Mais fait tomber. Ooh, and the big concept, man. So, which side is it gonna be on? Very nice read on the grab, and just like this, zero is. Down. Good stuff from Takarin. But teaching you? Uh, yeah, it's probably not a good idea. <laughs> Anyways, here we go on to the next uh, battle. It's gonna be Yuhi against Cafe. But yeah, I can obviously I can give you hints and you know, uh, how do you call it? Advices and, and stuff like this. Ah, okay, you're talking to Patintin. I'm sorry, my bad, my bad. Kuyashikatta. So sne, kuyashi sne. Oishikatta, oishikatta sne, oishikatta. Okay, anyways, here we go. <laughs> and here we go with Alvi. No, thank you. Okay, okay. 
Let's see, and here we go with the wall break by Yuhi. Yuhi being extremely explosive. Look at the whiff punishes from this man. And just like this, Yuhi takes it very convincingly. Good stuff from him. <laughs> On to the next battle. The caffeine wanting to take a little bit of a, uh, you know, distance. But Yuhi just sticking to him like glue. And look at the damage, actually. This is some pretty decent damage, yo. Who said that Milia didn't have any damage output? Very nice combo into the sledge. The confirms are there. Goes for the mixes. And Caffeine forced to pop the burst. And Caffeine looking very, 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 very lost right now. And here we go with the conversion station. Just like this, man. Yuhi closes it out with a perfect. Good stuff from Yuhi. He has no time to spare. He has no time to spare, man. We're on to the next battle. Very nice air to air right there from you. He gets the uh gets the opening. He's gonna get the wall break. Au fait, on a pensé quoi du match de la France hier? Ah, j'étais, j'ai regardé. Ouais. J'ai regardé, j'étais très très triste. Mais bon, c'est la vie. C'est ça. Je pense qu'on méritait de gagner, mais enfin, enfin c'est pas pas arrivé donc. Euh... Mais bon, c'est pas grave. C'est un très beau match par contre. C'est probablement, c'était probablement le plus beau match de foot que j'ai vu de toute ma vie. Je vais même pas mentir quoi. C'est le match avec le plus de remodissement que j'ai eu de toute ma vie quoi. C'était un plaisir à regarder. Hein. Ok, and that being said, here we go on to the next battle. Very nice for S counter hit into the juggle and Yuhi already with the corner positioning. Trying to get the wall break and he is going to get it. Is, is that a wall spot actually? Yeah. That being said, here we go with the wall break. <coughs> the caffeine really, really struggling to give, take some distance, you know. He just wants to be as far away from from Yuhi as possible. Caffeine trying to uh, air grab Yuhi on his way down. Couldn't quite get it, unfortunately. Ah, si, Kayane est content, moi aussi. Ah, non, c'était vraiment un très, c'était un très beau match, ouais, enfin, je veux pas mentir. Mais après, je suis juste triste. C'est juste, je suis triste d'avoir perdu. Quoi. Enfin, je suis triste qu'on ait perdu, quoi. C'est à peu près tout. Very nice to the, <laughs> to catch the uh, back walk from Yuhi. Yuhi finds the opening with the sledge. They go for the side swap. Oh lord, and here we go with Caffeine finally entering, but trading actually with Yuhi on their, their way down. Here we go with the Bad Moon. <laughs> the Bad Moon into Wall Break. Get the double dash into the Wall Break. Good stuff from Caffeine. No one home on the 6 HS. That being said, he was still able to make it safe by using the Roman Cancel. Man, who is based on and playing <laughs> the Bomberman music? I know, right? Bomberman is freaking awesome. I love it. Okay, so we go with the uh, juggle yet again by Yushi finds the opening and we are already on match points. Good stuff from Caffeine finds the opening with the 2k 2d. Gets the grab. He gets the corner positioning and you are in my world now, biatch. <laughs> yep, here, yeah, this is, yeah. yeah like, what, what do you want to do? Like, what do you want to do? <laughs> What do you want to do? Yeah, here we go with uh, Jackal getting her win condition right there, making full use of it. And here we go with Yushi finding the opening, forces Caffeine to pop the burst. That being said, here we go finally, Caffeine finding, oh, finding the opening. And if Caffeine manages to in-store their yeah, corner positioning, it might be the end for for Yuhi, but Yuhi managed to get out of there and go here we go now you're in my world ah uh, finds the opening is this gonna be enough probably not no it's not it's not okay just one more in that shall do good stuff from Yuhi takes it a clean 3-2 nil the right player Mugi made top 8 at Arc Revo Japan extremely strong Nagori Yuki player Takarin san is uh, an extremely strong Axel player actually and arguably the strongest in Japan currently so let's see who manages to take it back home, we shall see. <laughs> I do believe that la la uh, last time that they fought against each other, Tarani ended up uh, taking it. So uh, add that to the fact that uh, uh, Nagoriyuki got nerfed and Axel got buffed. It might be a, a very, very uphill battle for Mugi actually, but we shall see. Mugi is not a stranger to, um, is no stranger to, uh, well, difficult matchups and difficult situations. <clears throat> Very nice uh, command grab right there from Mugi finds the opening. And again, finds the opening immediately, uh, cancels into the super. He's gonna get the wall break. That was a sick confirm, by the way. <coughs> Good stuff, he's gonna get the wall break. Uh, he's gonna get the uh, hard knockdown. 
the oh, lord, and just like this, Boogie takes it very convincingly. Takes the first round, that is. We get on to the next battle. Air to air battle in favor of Takarin. He had the high ground. Okay, on to the onslaught. Moogie finds the opening with the clone. Yes, the. Um, gets the counter hit from the sweep into a juggle for the for the wall splat. And just one more, and that should do. Ah, and the quick dust for the kill. Good stuff from Moogie. Takes it very convincingly. 1 2 0. Let's see if Takarin can. Yeah, manage it. And th that's what's really funny is that. Uh, is that basically last time that they fought against each other? Like, Takarin completely won, like, one-sidedly. But after the patch, supposedly, Nagoriyuki is a lot worse than what he used to be. And Axel is actually a lot better. But, as you could see, like, it, it didn't really matter for Mugi at all. That is the uh, trademark of a very, very strong character, uh, a, a very strong player, is that he doesn't get uh, flustered or, you know, frustrated by the fact that his character has been nerfed and just makes the best out of it. And again, again, Moody taking the lead this time with one match and one round up, man. Good stuff. Tu vas faire un métier de commentateur compétition de tu peux. Mais non, je fais pas de regard. Mais bon, merci, ça fait plaisir quand même. Je prends le... Je prends la flatterie à bras ouverts. Very nice backdash into the grab by Takarin San. Uses this opportunity to get a side switch. He still has some problems to get out of the corner and to get you know, to make his way to Takarin, obviously. Since, uh, well, as you know, Nagoriyuki doesn't have any sort of uh, aerial dash. Ah, and the burst has been baited. This is the time to bring the heat and look at the damage, man. That is actually pretty decent damage, probably from the fact that uh, now Nagoriyuki takes more damage, the more blood uh, level he has. Currently, he has one. He had two when uh, Takarin... Um, instigated uh, when he started his uh, dust combo so yeah that's the part of the reason why oh lord and takarin bridge uh, unfortunately press his button on the wake up and just like this movie is like is up two to zero man up two to zero who would have thought Takarin definitely needs to make something happen <laughs> no air to air right there oh and the burst has been baited and just like this movie looking very very good man okay he's got Takani right in the corner, right where he wants him. Immediately resorts to cancel into the Super Nagori Mugi. Exactly. You know what? I'm gonna call Mugi Nagori Mugi. Yeah. This is his new name. It's not Mugi. He has evolved. Nagori Mugi now. Here we go. Nagori Mugi. <laughs> okay, and here we go with the Rainfall to try to bring Mugi closer and... <laughs> Punish him accordingly. Very nice. Confirm from Mugi. Again, he's gonna get the wall break. Good stuff. Here we go. The jump in. Good. Confirms. Oh, and no one home on the entire. Unfortunately, I couldn't quite get the juggle with the soup with the with the command grab. This is unfortunate for Takarin. Immediately got completely destroyed this time. I'm not gonna lie. Very one sided. <clears throat> okay, it's gonna be none other than Furata Shai versus Kohide. Let's see how this pans out. Kohide definitely, definitely a little bit sour from the fact that he's been sent in the loser's bracket. Let's see if he can bring it back. Oh, and the wake up DP, man. Ooh, very nice gold burst from Kohide. Ah, he gets scooped by the uh, Fujo Dark. <laughs> Here we go with Flata, getting into corner positioning, but Kohide using the aerial. Overdrive to uh, punish the entire ring uh, attempts from Prata. Go with the save jump. <laughs> and the stun they unfortunately did a little bit too close to uh, Kohide, which made it not comboed. Well, okay, here we go with the Ventana. This should seal the deal. Good stuff. Good first round for Kohide. <clears throat> and on to the next battle. Here we go to 2k2. Oh my lord! And Kohide not afraid to just dash forward and punish the startup frames of the uh of the projectile of uh of kai man very nicely done by kohide <clears throat> oh and here go the stun dipper nice conversion station look at the damage man good stuff <clears throat> here we go back to the neutral ah oh, no <clears throat> good stuff good stuff <laughs> 
T'aurais peut-être dû parler sur Coïdé alors. <rire> je vais pas mentir, mais Coïdé il est très très bon. Mais bon, on verra bien, on verra. Ok, here we go. Et ah, Frata, unfortunately, uh, does the. Oh, and here we go, the Nasante hits. Frata out of the air, double Nasante. Find the opening, gonna get the wall break. Okay, here we go. Good stuff and spacing from Kohide. Oh, baits the DP and punishes accordingly with a perfect, nevertheless. Good stuff. Kohide moves on 1 to 0. And on to the second match. Let's see. Oh, the double. No, it wasn't even the double, but yes, making use of the spiral arrow uh, to catch the backdash of Furata. Very nice with punishes right there from Kohide. The relentless. Oh lord. Good stuff from Kohide again. With oh the relentless pressure uses the RC to make it safe. Ah, and here we go the close S to catch the back that from Kohide. Again with the oh okay, here we go the grab. <coughs> here we go the direct law wants to keep Kohide in the corner. The clash in favor of Kohide immediately recognizes it. Dashes forward and punishes accordingly. We go with the far S to punish the bag dashes attempt. And he's gonna get the kill with the stun dipper. Good stuff from Frata staying alive. Oh yeah, and here we go the checks from Kohide not letting Frata dash his straight into him. Oh, okay, very nice bag dash right there from Kohide seeing just right out of range. Again with the Sun Dipper a little bit too close, unfortunately. And Kohide not afraid of wake up DPs anymore, just going on the for the for the kill. Definitely spelling blood. Is he gonna go for a save jump? No save jump. He went for the flip kick, probably wanted to get the extension, and he gets the kill nevertheless with the throw. Hm. Here we go match uh well actually not match one. There's one round apiece. Frata definitely needs this one. He wants to uh, stay at least in a comfortable position. Well, not an unfavorable position, at least. Very nice 6 speed counter hit. Again with the Nasante trades, but still gets the combo afterwards. Oh lord, and using the aerial <coughs> overdrive to punish the uh, entire attempts from Frata. Still goes, well, goes for the uh, save jump. But Frata this time around catches him with the stun dipper, cancel into uh, cancel with Roman Castle and gets the extension for the corner carry. Go with the Fudra Dark and he so he notices, notices that Kohide is afraid and wants to spend his time in the air. Beautiful aerial grab from Frata. Staying alive, putting one on the board. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Here you go with the uh, sliding grab, if I might say, from uh, from Kohide. Oh, and a bad DP. <coughs> go back in the neutral. Again with the sliding throw right there from Kohide. He does have Prata in the corner, he uses the Nasante to cover uh, the aerial. Oh lord, look at that side throw, it's so, it's so cool. Yeah, like, uh, Giovanna has such, has such Cool uh, combos now. Good stuff from Kohide on the verge of taking this third match. <laughs> I need to go take some water after this one. Here we go with the jump in. Ah, and finally Flatta pops the DP, man. Get out of danger's way. Oh, Lord! And just popping the burst for the gold one. Okay, here we go with uh, the corner pressure. Aya! Okay, good patience from Kyokide actually to immediately, uh, immediately cancel. <coughs> ah, he tried to go with a grab setup. Unfortunately, Kyokide already knew it, but it's okay. It's going to be safe. Oh no! And Kyokide committed to pressing a button and got punished for it. This is unfortunate. And here we go with the tick pressure right there from Kohide finds the opening with the 6p counter hit. Ah, almost got the juggle, a little shy of a little bit too far for it. Okay, he's gonna get the optimized combo damage though in the corner into the ride the lightning. Look at the damage, guys. Good stuff from Pata is gonna get the safe jump setup. 
Oh lord, and no, 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 sir. Oh, that hurts. Okay, very nice stuff, and immediately kills, get the kill. Oh, and doesn't even let give time to Kohide to actually uh, burst uh, out of the situation. And actually, Flata in the lead, man. Ah, mais carrément, j'avoue, Fata il est bien ouf là. Je pense qu'il arrive again with the wake up DP though. We really getting scooped by it once more. <coughs> Here we go with the 6HS again. Catching Kohide probably on his dash, I think. Ah, oh, very nice awareness though from Kohide. Uh, Try to bait DDP. Oh, it does get the juggle also off of the. Not even a counter hit in the something. Good stuff from Kohide. Here we go with the safe setup. Oh, safe jump. Oh, and again with the awareness, man. Kohide staying alive, man. Kohide definitely doesn't want to be taken out of this tournament yet. <clears throat> oh, here we go with the 6P. <laughs> Wake up DP once again by Frata. Ah, again with the DP, man. Frata going ham with the DPs, man. Look at the damage. Look at the damage. What the hell is this? What the hell was this? Look at the damage. Lord! Ah, and he got the back dash. He couldn't quite get the juggle, but it's okay. <gasps> and just like this, Frata eliminated. Oh, no, he doesn't actually. I'm sorry. I, I, yeah, I'm a bit, <laughs> I got a little bit too excited there. Good stuff, Kohide, on the verge of getting eliminated, though. Oh, but it's okay. He finds the opening with the closest counter hit. Forces Frata to pop the burst. And just like this, Kohide manages, his, manages to uh bait the dp oh a little bit too far to get the kill but it's still okay and he goes for the flip kick <laughs> okay no challenge right there from frata still gets hit on his back dash good stuff from kohide takes it with the perfect by the way man kohide pumping things up man doesn't want to go out like this okay here we go deep jump in on kohide already has the uh pressure getting on <laughs> Here we go, Kohide again with the Nasante. Tried to get the juggle a little bit too far though, but a little bit too low to the ground to get any juggle off of it. Very nice jump back right there, just right out of the range of the previously uh, sent projectile. He gets the grab. Ah, okay. Oh, tried to get the... Oh, again with the DP, man. Flata going ham, man. Fred, are you playing Leo? <laughs> okay, I almost got the kill. And does get the kill with the sliding grab. Good stuff from Kohide. Just definitely waking up. Definitely waking up. Here we go with the jump in again with the, the whiff. This is really unfortunate. Hold up. Hold up. It's hard to do. Sorry for the, uh, for the repetitive cough. And here we go with the counter hit, Kohide forces, Frata to pop the burst to stay alive. Very nice uh, trade, uh, again with the Sun Dipper, he gets the grab off of it because he used RC to make it safe. And he, oh lord, oh no, it has been baited, but it's still okay. <clears throat> okay, one more chance, man, one more chance for Frata, he needs to bait the burst, no! And here we go with the wake up, no, oh, uh, yep. Okay, good thing he didn't grab. Ah, oh, and the 6 for the count, just like this, man. Kohide takes it, 3, 2. Okie dokie, Bridge and Cookie. <laughs> okay, next match is gonna be none other than Ken Ken versus Zero. So Giovanna versus uh, Nagori Yuki. Let's see how this pans out. Je suis ruiné. Hopefully it's gonna be okay. Here's the sun indeed. With Zero finding the opening. Again, a crossplay match, by the way. Very nice stuff right there from Ken Ken. Finds the opening. Force Zero out of there. Good stuff. Ken Ken in the lead for now. Okay, no jumping right there. A little bit shy. Distance wise, that is. And here we go. Here we go with the <laughs> with the dash into. I open you up. Ah, okay, nice challenge right there from Zero. Try to. Grab him and probably get a side switch. Almost got the uh, whiff punish on the. Uh, almost got the whiff uh, off, off of the uh, the burst. Oh no! And just like this, actually, Zero was the one who got raided. Good stuff from Ken Ken. Nice reaction on the punishes. Oh, there we go. Ken Ken getting the juggle, pushing Zero in the corner. Uh, God bless the standing HS with the three hits. 
Good stuff. Pinkin gets the wall break. <coughs> okay, here we go. The neutral has been reset, and Ken can trying to hit. Oh, very nice whip. Punish, and he's gonna get the kill. Good stuff from Ken Ken. Puts one on the board with a perfect, by the way, man. That is quite the statement. What is Zero gonna do? That is the big question. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Is Zero going to switch characters, or? We shall see. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, okay, okay. Sticking with Nagori Mugi. Uh, well, Nagori Mugi. <laughs> Nagori Mugi. I said it. Okay, let's see how this pans out. <laughs> Again with the wake up gold burst from Ken Ken Man. Oh, Lord. Can you go with Ken Ken? Oh, here we go. The wall break. Nice, decent damage right there for Ken Ken. Yeah, Ken Ken liking really to take his distance. Oh, and just oh, with punishing, content to do so, which is totally fine. And here we go again with the jump in. This should actually kill. Yes, with the extension, he's gonna RC, then he's gonna kill him. Good stuff from uh, from Gio. Good stuff from Ken Ken, man. <coughs> Let's see how this pans out. Oh lord. And here we go with the wall break. Okay, sorry for the wait. <laughs> ah, here we go. Nice, just blocked by Ken Ken. And Ken Ken is gonna get the kill, and he even got the burst. Good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> good stuff from Ken Ken up two to zero. What is zero gonna do, man? What is he gonna do? Okay, start of the round with Beyblade. Also, almost, already got Kicking in the corner. Doesn't get the wall break, unfortunately, for him. Still okay, very nice reactions right there from Zero. Almost got the juggle. Okay, and Kinkin really taking his time to just put the distance between him and his opponent. <laughs> and with Punish accordingly, very nice confirm. Mm. Ah, and here we go with the. Unfortunate but necessary nerf to uh, Nagoriyuki, which is this 2S, which recovers way more, uh, which has way more recovery frames this time around. And you can see, yeah, you can see him whiffing them, but definitely more of a. Oh, but still gets the kill with the 4K. Good stuff by Zero. <clears throat> oh, and here with the far S. <laughs> Nice, nice Abari right there from Ken Ken. Could get out of the corner, thing to it. Ah, gets the counter hit. Oh lord, look at the damage. And they fully charged us on the wake up of his opponent. That being said, yeah, uh, Nagoriki is currently on a level uh, one blood actually, so doesn't take that much damage. But still, the throw was enough to kill. And just like this, we are on match point. Let's see who wins. Oh, very nice. Spiral arrow forward, the catch of the bag dash. Gonna get the juggle. And the wall break. <laughs> Good stuff from Ken Ken. Oh! Nice trade. Thanks to this, Ken Ken at least could get a breather. At least. Good stuff. Oh! <laughs> oh, Lord, and that big counter hit right there. Forced Ken Ken to pop the burst. Mm. And here we go with the Beyblade with Punish and Ken Ken, man. Ah, and Zero looking good, man. Trying to bring it back. He did pop the burst. After this, he will not have a single. Yeah. If he gets hit. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, Lord. No, you didn't want this. You didn't want this. Oh, and the air grab. That was so cool. No. No! He dropped it! No! No! Not like this! Not like this! And just like this. Crossplay now. Yeah, it is, it is. So it, now you can participate easily. Without any any issue at all. Okay, that being said, here we go. Starting the next round. And one thing I would like to, um, to say is that we haven't had a single connection error. Not a single one ever since we, uh, we did the tournament. So that is actually a very, very, very nice sign. Maybe they solved it, and that would be really awesome. That being said, here we go with Takani running a train on Koide right now. 
But Koi, just as I say this before, kept coming to your skirts. Koi did just does exactly the same to Takari and Ran right now. And both are more or less at the same uh, level, like health wise. Ah, and you're going to Nasante, the juggle for the kill. <coughs> it was a Mitsu, a Mitsu. Well, on the party, first round goes to uh, Kohide in a very, very uh, convincing manner. He did get pummeled a little bit at the start, but managed to make some adjustment and bring it back. Here we go with the jump in. Takarin san finding the opening. <clears throat> oh lord, and you can see Takarin just running straight, making so that he r runs very deep just to be sure that he catches. Uh, <laughs> He catches um, uh, Kohide on his back dash. Here we go with the, uh, the, uh, the grab from Kohide. Has Takarin in the corner. No entire air. Oh, here we go the juggle with using the uh, the command grab right there. And Kohide on point, man. Uh, he's gonna get the side switch. And the newly found combos of Taka of Axel man he's so swag now I really like Axel the way that he can combo and everything okay here we go with the attempt of Kohide to try to hit Takarin with the aerial overdrive no one was home though and here we go with the <clears throat> here we go with uh, the uh... oh lord and the overdrive again and just like this Kohide actually gonna take it he steals it! Good stuff from Kohide takes the first match. I'll be right back, guys. I need to drink something. Duel one. Let's rock. Okay, sorry for the wait. Uh, so, Takarin down. Oh, likewise, he doesn't have his burst either. Did pop the super. Will he catch the backdash? Yes, he did. He caught the backdash of Kohide. Puts the life more or less at even now. And here we go with the optimization station of Takarin. Manages to steal it away, man. Okay, here we go. Very nice jump. HS from Takarin absolutely blows away the entire uh, attempt from uh, from Kohide. And here we go with the side switch yet again by Kohide. Gonna get the wall break. Good stuff. Oh lord! And Kohide uses the RC to extend his combo and get the kill. One round a piece. And here we go with the 2D catches the backdash from Kohide. Oh, Nasanta a little bit too far to connect. But Kohide did manage to hit the golden burst and manages to get the overdrive. Aerial overdrive. Look at the damage, man. Holy freaking load. Okay, no Nasante there. Ah, okay, here we go. He punishes the snail accordingly. Yeah, and that was basically the checkmate situation right there for. Takarin, Takarin down 2-0, yo. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, yes, yes, yes. <coughs> Let's see if he can manage to find a way to bring it back because it is all in favor of Kohide for the time being. <coughs> Here we go with the grab. Ah, and wake up gold burst yet again. Okay, good stuff from Kohide gets the uh, counter hit. Ah, he goes with the quick burst and immediately into the overdrive for the kill. Good stuff from Kohide on match point. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Kohide not letting Takarin dash up right to, towards him. Ah, Takarin trying to fight his way out of the corner. His stream in life on the line. Okay, very nice check right there using the D counter hit and even juggles off of it. <clears throat> he goes for the empty low. 
No! Oh, almost got hit. Oh, and the grab for the kill. Takarin godlike. Godlike. Good stuff from Takarin. Stays alive. <laughs> okay, here we go. Takarin definitely still in it. Doesn't want to lose like this. Ah, finds the check right there with the 2k, 2k, and 2d. Okay, gets out of the corner, uses the extension of the rainwater. Okay, no one's home. Ah, good stuff. He manages to get the side switch thanks to the RC and the double axle bomber for the kill. Takarin staying alive. One, two, two. He still needs two more if he wants to take it. And here we go with the jump in from Takarin. Ah, but yeah, the whip punishing game of Kohide is pristine, man. This game's so good. Here we go with the grab loops from Kohide. Yeah, definitely fishing for something right there. Oh, Lord, and that counter hit Nasante. You're into the overdrive. This is gonna, yeah, this is gonna kill, actually. And once again, on match points, <laughs> Is Sakarin gonna make a comeback yet again? That would be sick if it's the case, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, no punish on the, uh, the spiral arrow. <coughs> okay, here we go with the HS. Counter hit. Oh, he's gonna get the newly found combos from Axelman and again almost got you no you hate to see it but not like this not gonna no no ça marche ça marche mais ça va bonne soirée à toi et peut-être à la prochaine merci beaucoup d'être passé here we go with the air to air yeah Koide wants to seal the deal man he doesn't want to have to go to another set yet again Koide gone oh oh lord that was death if Koide had like Roman Castle oh and he got the yes oh lord he got the command grab. Oh, and here we go with the H, the 6HS. Uh, uh, the snipe right there from Takarin gets the kill thanks to it. That was, that was so good. <laughs> okay, here we go with the trade yet again. Okay, he gets the hit with the 2HS. Ah, but the jump in is successful for Kida. He's gonna bring Takarin in the corner, gets the extension off of a uh, spiral arrow on hit. <laughs> Oh, but the jumping to HS counter hit for the... Oh, yeah, he was afraid of the overdrive, the aerial overdrive. Oh, and again with the... Oh, and it catches his backdash. Even gets the extension with the command grab. Lord! Oh, no, you hate to see it. I knew he was going to go for this. I knew it. Is he going to kill? No, it's not. It's not. It is going down to the wire. No! Yeah, and Takarin staying alive, man. Staying alive. Oh, again, man. Takarin bringing it back. He was on match point twice in a row. And twice in a row, he brought it back, man. Takarin, man. He's on freaking fire. The power of Axel. Here we go. Here we go. Holy freaking Lord. And, oh, yeah. You can feel Takarin definitely feeling himself right there. Exactly. Yeah, Kuhide is being friends right now. But actually, Takarin is being friends right now. Because Kohide is, uh, is Argentina right now. <laughs> He's leading. Well, he was leading up until now. But in the end, France lost. So technically, Kohide should be winning if we're following this logic. <laughs> Here we go with the Nasante. Ah, very nice use of the two. Oh, Lord. Gets it by Nasante. And she goes for the kickflip. The double, uh, the double uh, dash just to make sure that he catches him with a grab. <laughs> oh lord and this is gonna kill again Takarin is gonna be on match point <laughs> well actually Kohida on match point again <laughs> is he gonna save it again that would be fun though oh lord <laughs> let's see how this pans out okay Takarin we believe in you believe in me believing in you believe in me <coughs> And yeah, Koide just remaining very slippery, uses the Nesante for adequate anti-air ing. Okay, nice confirms right there from Takarin. Oh, oh I think he, yeah, he pressed the button. This is death. Uh, well, Takarin, yeah, this is death. Ah, uh, no, and no comeback for you. But nicely done by... It's starting to get a little bit cold in here. <coughs> 
Okay, on to the next losers bracket match. After this one, we will have the uh, winners match because we will have done more or less all of the losers matches. Well, m not all of them, obviously. But uh, that being said, here we go with the entire bike and can immediately grabs caffeine. Okay, no entires right there. We start from ah uh, caffeine still. He was able to force Kenken to pop the burst. Ah, that is a uh yeah, an unfortunate bag dash again. The bag dash gets kid by the multi hits from Kenken. And nice finish by uh, Kenken. Book book a little bit cold. Bitch, Osaka is a nice cube. Ah, oh, really? Well, you should come here. <laughs> you should come to Tokyo and complain, man. Africa hasn't prepared me for this yet. Well, it, it, the same thing for me in Caribbean, man. I hate cold. I wish it was summer all all year long. It would be awesome. <clears throat> that being said, here we go with the pressure, man. Look at this. Caffeine has the pressure in the corner. Oh, here we go. The IAD to ID out of the corner. Ayo, uh, why does her 2H uh, vacuum in that way now? I think it's a recent uh, patch change, I think. And uh, it's probably to keep pressure, I guess. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I'm not quite knowledgeable on other characters like uh, patch uh, balance balance differences. Cause I only really paid attention to uh, to Enos, but yeah, yeah, and to the top tiers, obviously. But yeah, uh, uh, Jacko, she did receive some good quality of life changes. It's freaking cold as well. I know, right? I hate cold. Absolutely hate cold. Very nice call uh, out from Caffeine on the back dash from Ken Ken. Just that was pretty cool, crazy and so uh, so happy I took some games off Nage. Yeah, that, this is actually pretty cool, man. Good stuff, good stuff. Wait, wait, wait. Nage, Nage is in the tournament? <clears throat> or did you like play play against him like randomly and you, you actually won? <clears throat> Here we go with the perfect again by Caffeine, man. Being extremely, extremely... Uh, Ah, okay, and so you got you. Yeah, yeah. Hakuma is not in the tournament. Anymore. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Well, he was supposed to be in it, though. Exactly, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, you're right, you're right. My bad, my bad. Like a loser. <laughs> oh, Lord, look at the fresh. Oh, my Lord, did you see that BRC combo? Oh, he almost got the, the follow up on the BRC. That would have been sick. Ah, yeah, and here we go with the whole very nice bag dash from Caffeine. Doesn't get hit by the grab of Ken Ken. Okay, again with the. Pressure from Ken Ken. He's gonna get the yeah overdrive. This is gonna kill. No, that was a misinput. I can guarantee you. Jacko is evil. She is, but she's cute, so it's okay. And here we go. The grab. Good stuff from Ken Ken. Oh, continuing the pressure. Oh Lord, is this the no? Why? You have to finish your cheese, dude. You have to finish your fromage. Why did you finish your fromage? She's evil cute. Yeah, she's a Kuakuma. I have the power of scrub of my side. <laughs> the best power of all. The power of the scrub. Yeah, it's the best power of all. I think she's getting smacked around like a piece of bologna thrown in a village from starving of Africa. I agree, I agree. Okay, and here we go, man. And oh lord, look at your risk. What is a risk bar? What is a health bar? Good stuff from Caffeine puts one on the board. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen, actually. This is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Master! Let's see if Ken Ken decides to stick with Giovanna or maybe switch character. Nope. It's gonna be Giovanna all the way. My opponent can read me if I'm not sure what I'm doing, yeah. The best the best type of mix-ups is when the outcome of said mix-up is unknown to the one who initiates it. So yeah. <laughs> okay, good stuff from uh from Caffeine, well, from Ken Ken actually, forces uh, Caffeine to pop the burst. I catch it to back dash though, and again with the wall break. <clears throat> there we go, one minion is on the deck, two minion. Oh lord, and kids, Ken Ken with a counter hit, this is gonna do a lot of damage, couldn't get the juggle with the minion though. Oh, here we go with the aerial overdrive, unfortunately, it didn't connect. Very nice awareness of uh, Caffeine to use the 6 spear right there to hit Giovanna out of her uh, 6 uh, of her standing H and the YRC punish for the kill by Caffeine. Caffeine looking very good. We're going to the next match. Very nice air to air. Ooh, Lord, look at the counter. And the newly uh, found 
You wanna <coughs> combo right here? Look at the damage, man! Woo! <laughs> ah, okay. Here we go. Ken Ken getting the 6p counter hit. He's gonna get the juggle. Okay, and uh, Caffeine holding on to the burst, obviously. Hey, he's trying to do Ken Ken. He's trying to do Ken Ken. Okay, here we go with the throws. Nice air to air by Caffeine. Getting the side switch and the corner pressure. And look at this. Oh my goodness. Ken Ken not afraid to just dash straight to get out of the corner, man. This time around, Ken Ken has the corner positioning. It's time to ring the heat. <laughs> okay. Here we go with the jump in. Unfortunately, a little bit too far to hit. Caffeine. But here we go with the uh, the, the optimization station and pop of the overdrive by Ken by Caffeine. <coughs> and here we go Ken looking very good right now. Unfortunately, oh Caffeine did uh, call his uh, his grab attempt out. Ah, uh, this time around, yeah, Ken Ken just was too much. He puts another one on the board. It takes the lead at 2 to 1. Let's see how this spins out. Is Caffeine going to stick to his guns? Or is he going to change? Nope. It is Jack all the way. Okay, here we go. The take pressure. Very nice sweep from Caffeine. From uh, Caffeine, yes. A okay, nice, ah, uh, very nice 2D right there. Catches the back dash attempt from Kenken. Kenken maintaining pressure. Doesn't want Caffeine to get out of the corner. Back dash into 2K into uh, the Sepultura. Ooh, oh lord. No one's home for the overdrive. Lucky for Caffeine. And the recognition from Caffeine to juggle the awareness of uh, Caffeine to actually juggle off of the minion's hit. We go with the uh, spiral arrow. <clears throat> oh lord, that juggle. Oh, but no. Unfortunately, for Caffeine, didn't have the bar in order to cancel into the super. That would have killed, but it's still okay. Caffeine manages to take the first round of this fourth match. <laughs> no anti air. And Kinkin has the corner positioning. Continues to apply pressure. Is going to get the wall break. Caffeine trying to find a solution to put their minion on the screen while Ken Ken is far away, which is almost never. Okay, and he gets the tick throw. Ken Ken pops the YRC. And this too. Oh, very nice. Fully charged dust is gonna kill. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. <clears throat> and on to the final round of this match. Kenken making his way towards Caffeine with double dashes. <laughs> even through, even in between the, the Dominions. Kenken not afraid, man. Not afraid to press button. Okay, and here we go with the new combo. It looks absolutely awesome. I really like it. <laughs> oh, and that juggle, man, from Kenken. The recognition and the awareness that he could juggle off of it. Didn't quite get the wall splat, unfortunately, he was a little bit too eager, didn't respect Yoki, and got Elysium grabbed. <laughs> oh, very nice check right there from Ken Ken Man, the GC take. But now, god oh, damn it. Here we go. <clears throat> okay, here is the winner's final. It's gonna be none other than Yoshi versus Mugi. I gotta go shower, but best of luck with the tournament. Thank you very much, Moi. Yeah, I have enough for Moi. Hands on the stick, this is a robbery! It is! <laughs> okay, anyway, <laughs> that being said, here we go. Damn it. <clears throat> uh, on to the winner's final. It's gonna be a very, very big match. Both opponents did the S S uh, Street Fighter 6 beta was awesome. Awesome sauce, man. Uh, and here with Yushi getting the conversions. Tried to go with the late uh, overhead right there to try to open Mugi, but Mugi was well, actually the move with <laughs> for some unknown reason. Uh, Yuhi going for an empty low, finds the opening. 
Now go about to get robbed by million damage. Yeah, he is, he is. Oh lord, and the conversion station. Almost got the kill, but Guts was a factor right there. Does get the uh, kill with the top. Mm. Okay, on to the second match. <clears throat> and here we go with the recognition for Mugi that he got the counter hit. Did get the juggle. Ah, he goes for the uh, option, not the option, the uh, command grab. Very nice block from you. He lifts the fight another day. Goes for the empty little yet again. Mugi investing in his. Um, not investing in his burst, actually popping it. Confident that he can bring it back, that, that he can actually seal the deal. Okay, and here we go. Good stuff from you. He's gonna get the hard knockdown. Melia actually still around from Nago. Yeah, she can now, she can. If Nago has like two bars of blood, he has a very, very bad guts. When he the, the less the more the more blood he has, the less guts he has. So he takes more damage. <clears throat> so uh, it's actually very dangerous for uh, for Nagoriyuki players to uh, to pop uh, well to to have too much of a high blood blood level. Two robberies exactly. And now no guys right now uh, I I suggest I, I I probably think that the Milia versus Nagoriyuki matchup is not. Uh, is not completely like one-sided to Nagoriyuki anymore. So yeah, definitely you should, uh, if you're Nagoriyuki, you have to really be careful not to get opened up. Because you're gonna take damage now. You actually take damage. <coughs> it's, uh, rubbing him with the screwdriver and the thumbnail. Uh, thumbnail yeah, exactly. Okay, and here we go with almost got the side switch, couldn't quite get it, but still okay. He's gonna go oh, the cross up or the Schmix goes for the empty little cross up. He's going to get the juggle, and just like this, Yuhi heals the deal. Yuhi looking absolutely unstoppable during this match, man. This is crazy. Ah, uh, it's mixing time, man. Oh, yeah. You're not getting out of this one. Break those ankles, yeah. Who needs ankles? <laughs> Here we go. Oh, very nice air grab right there from Mugi, though. Definitely not out of it. Ah, uh, unfortunately, got his. Uh, his. Got called out on his grab attempt. <laughs> Okay, Mugi, ah, uh, definitely looking out for Yuhi. Oh, reaction, very nice with punish right there from Yuhi. Gonna get a full come. Look at the damage, guys. Yeah, this is Milia damage, but it's still doing quite a lot of damage, all things considered. Okay, let's see, what is it going to be? Try to go for the... Ah, he got grabbed. Here we go with Mugi. Ah, very nice call out on... <coughs> Good stuff. The triple overhead. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Good stuff from you. He get, keeping the, uh, well, keeping the pressure and just taking it back, man. Nagos can't hit at level two blood anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they can't. Yeah, if they do, it's like it's over. And if they blood explode, like if they blood burst, uh, and the opponent blocks the explosion of blood, it's basically game over. And obviously, if they don't have uh, burst anymore. It's basically over for Nago. He can get TOD now. Very easily, by the way. Okay, here we go with the juggle. Mugi not out of it yet. <laughs> oh, definitely. People are starting to drop Nago left and right, man. Already. It's like, it's like, well, obviously, yeah, you know. Part, there, there's a there's a majority of people who played Nago Yuki because he was extremely overpowered, which is normal, you know, it's fine. If you play a fighting game, you usually play to win, not to not to lose. And the best way to win is to play a strong character. So which is totally understandable. But yeah, but due to this then uh, obviously more people are gonna drop uh, Nagoriyuki, obviously. Okay, here we go with the tick pressure from Mugi. He gets the juggle and the corner uh, carry. Again with the <laughs> the command grab. <laughs> Again with the command grab. Oh he did it a little bit too early! Ah, but it still was enough to kill. That was lucky for him. Isn't, is everybody gonna switch to Happy Chaos now? Oh, that would be a hell of a nightmare, if you ask me. This is definitely not something I would want. Please, no. I'd rather people stay with Nago rather than pick up Happy Chaos. I think uh, a character that's going to see more representation now is gonna be Mei. Mei got mad buffed. Axel also got mad buffed. Melia also got buffed, not mad though, but she did get buffed. She's actually like way more playable now, I feel. Sin is, uh, from in my understanding, he's fun to play, but he's not like uh, viable. He's not there right now, like he's not quite strong enough to actually uh, do good in tournament. This is what I believe. Leah also got uh, relatively buffed, 
from my understanding as well. But uh, I don't know people like, uh, uh, only in in Asia, I guess. I don't know about you guys like in Europe or America, but in in Asia there aren't that many Leo players. Like people players are I don't know if they're not interested in playing him or they find him weak or something. They probably do finding him weak. Well, weaker than Europe and, and America, that is. But uh, yeah, we, you don't have a lot of Leo players here to begin with. But he did get buffed. I think his 2D is a little bit more. You get like a, a midi. Uh, so you can you can do 2D, then Zvite the other way and get your back. And then you can have a midi, uh, a midi uh, either a K or uh, S with him, which is pretty cool. And yeah, they find him weak uh, for a reason. Yeah, but I don't. I don't think. I don't think Leo's weak. Not at all. I think he's strong, but he's probably from my from, from my uh, experience, he's not as strong as uh, as what Europe and America makes him out to be. But then again, I didn't really play against stuff. Uh, you know, I, I play against random. Um, I, I mean, there are a lot less Leo players here, so obviously, I don't have that much. Uh, way to figure out whether or not he's strong or not because there, there aren't that many players yeah the duke is back yeah he, you can do you can do 2d then do your zvite to cross over and then you have a midi back attack weird that they find him weak yeah <clears throat> i've recently played eno and i think that the eno uh the eno leo matchup is probably in favor of eno not gonna lie but th this is the way that i find it personally but uh so so for me it's not it's never a very big problem to play against leo because I have like all of my every single one of my my sequence are safe jumps, so it's not as if Leo could just like spam DP. And when I attack him, I do hover, right? He has to block me uh, standing. And once he stands, what happens is that uh, he loses his charge. So for me, the the Leo matchup has never really been a problem because I play Eno. But I don't know what happens if you play a normal character against Leo. Yeah, it might be super annoying because obviously you can DP very very easily and. You know, can be he can do annoying Leo stuff that he cannot do against uh, against you know. <coughs> you calling me random? <laughs> well, obvious, well, obvious I am. <laughs> Everyone's random at some point. <coughs> yeah, for me, I don't see a difference between being random and being unpredictable. It's the same thing, just a, a matter of speed. You know, I don't see like when you call somebody random. It's a bad thing, but when you call somebody unpredict unpredictable, it's a good thing, you know? <laughs> so, for example... Uh, I, not for example, but like people will say, yeah, Daigo's DP is unpredictable, it's, uh, you know, it's super, it's mad, you know, he's so... He varies his play and whatever, whatever, and then you'll have like somebody like uh, Gandhi Ryu from Street Fighter 4. This guy's random, you know, he's not unpredictable, he's random, you know? They tend to say it like super uh, in a bad way, and it, it, and in the end, it's exactly the same thing. If you're random, you're an unpredictable, and vice versa, you know. <clears throat> well, in my opinion, personally. But that being said, let's go back to the uh, to the match in hand. As you can see, Yuhi is currently uh, actually both players uh, have two match right now, but Yuhi does have a slight lead given that he has one. Um, he does have one round up. And he's on the verge of taking it. Is that gonna be enough? It is gonna be enough. And just like this, Yuki actually sends Mugi and the losers, man. J'essaie de jouer footy sur le GST, ça fonctionne pas des masses. Enfin, avec Sin, c'est limite possible, mais quand les mecs te foncent dessus sans réfléchir, ah bah ouais, tu m'étonnes. C'est ouais, c'est le, c'est le trademark de de Guti Gear, je veux dire. Ouais, c'est parti, allez. Here we go with the loser semi-final. We still have uh, three more games. Well, this one included three more, three more. Hmm? Three more games, yes, uh, before the end of this tournament. <clears throat> and here we go with the juggle by Ken Ken, doing a good job of opening Kohide up and getting the wall break. Let's see how this spins out. Very nice sweep right there. He's got the hard knockdown and got the grab for the kill. Good stuff. Ken Ken takes the lead with the first round. C'est ça que je préfère Street Fighter. C'est ouais, pareil, pareil. J'ai beaucoup aimé la, la bête. Hein. Je, je pense que je vais vraiment bien la grinder contre le jeu. Il va sortir pour de vrai. And here we go with the take uh, counter pressure from Ken Ken. A little bit of a bar, but did work out in the end. Uses the 2S to try to catch the backdash of the opponent. Goes for the throw to get the side switch to bring Kohide back in the corner. And this is not gonna kill. But he's gonna do a lot of damage. Gonna offer him a hard knockdown as well with a save jump. If done correctly. Go with the save jump. Oh lord, if that was a 6P, he would have killed. <laughs> Here we go with uh, the back dash. Ah, Lord Kohide found the opening. Ventania right away. 
was gonna be the mix and a simple jump in for the kill by Kohi, the very nicely done. And here we go. Moi je fais plate 1, je crois, mais j'ai joué. En fait j'ai joué que 2 heures. J'ai pu jouer que 2 heures en rank parce qu'après il y a, y a, y a d'autres gens qui sont ramenés. Et puis en 2 heures j'atteins un plateau. Oh, c'était relativement facile. Non c'était 1 heure pardon. J'attends 1 heure. Je pense j'aurais pu aller plus loin mais. Ensuite, enfin, j'avais la, la soirée geek, enfin la journée geek, et bon, j'ai pas, pas fait de ranking entre temps. Et le jour d'après, il y a l'ancien qui est venu euh, à la maison, et du coup, on a, on a juste joué entre, entre nous, quoi. Donc ouais, j'ai pas, pas pu, euh, j'ai pas, pas, pas pu bosser le ranking, ouais. Mais je pense que j'aurais pu faire pas mal. Ok, and here we go with Kohide taking the first match, very nicely done. He was led, but he ended up taking it very nicely done. J'aurais pu aussi, euh, si je voulais, mais la flemme tu vas pas. Moi, j'aurais bien aimé, ouais, mais c'est juste que j'ai pas eu le temps, ouais. <laughs> And here we go with the take pressure from Kohide. He gets the wall. Splat! It's gonna be the Oki. Very nice. With punish from Kohide, man. The god. Lord. Oh! Oh, Lord. Okay, he got in tired right there. This is unusual. Ah, and the jump back from uh, Kohide to land on the grab attempt of Ken Ken. Very nice with punish, man. This guy. These guys, here we go with the throw from <laughs> from Kohide, varying his option uh, by resorting to either grabbing his opponent or doing close S. Here we go with the burst. And here we go with the far HS. This is gonna do a lot of damage, not gonna kill, but it does, it did do a lot of damage. Ken Ken showing signs of life. Yes, it by the Sasante though, this is not gonna be out. This is unfortunate. Good stuff from Kohide leads 2-0. Kenken needs to find something if he wants to stay in this tournament. <coughs> Immediate burst of bite. Kenken doesn't want to have any doesn't want to have to deal uh, with any sort of pressure right here. <coughs> We're gonna go with the throw yet again. And here we go with the pressure from, yeah, from uh, from Kohide, man, doesn't want to let up, he wants to keep the pressure, he wants to keep Kenken in the corner. Here we go with the counter. <laughs> Okay, okay. Oh, okay, sorry for the wait. <laughs> okay, here we go with the ins and outs, man. Kohide finds the opening. He's on a match point. Is he gonna be able to seal the deal? Here we go, the grab. He's gonna yeah, Roman cancel, and this is a bye bye. Good stuff from Ken from from Kohide. Takes it a clean three two zero final. Or after this, the grand final awaits, and somebody, one of these two players, will have to face Yushi, so the Melia player, in the grand final to determine who takes the cake. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> okay, and here we go. Very nice quick punish from Kohide. From, uh, yes, Kohide. Okay, and Mugi needs to be careful with his, uh, yeah, with his blood rage with his blood level <laughs> very nice cut from from Mugi brings it back on to the second match we did it definitely taking his time finds the opening gets the juggle and the corner carry oh lord the 2k man of Mugi of uh, Nagori Mugi man okay here we go Kohide gets hit by the blade Beyblade counter hit into the juggle here we go with the grab. Ah, and the <laughs> very nice cheeky attempt of commanding grabbing Koide right there. Koide being on point on his uh, jump out. <laughs> okay, here we go with Lugi on point on his entires. Koide not committing to any aerial attack. 
Ah, ah, ah. And here we go with the Fukio into the... Oh, and he even managed to bait the burst with the Roman cancel. That being said, he didn't quite get the juggle. Kohide could have lived to fight a little bit longer, but probably was as surprised as I was and as we were that uh, Mugi dropped the combo. <laughs> you can see that both players have been playing each other a lot because they know each... They know their respective patterns. Here we go with the take pressure. <clears throat> we did find the opening. It hits Boogie. Oh lord, unfortunately he gets it out of it. Okay, good stuff by Moogie. Oh. <laughs> okay, he finds the opening with the Roman cancel off of the flip kick. Ah, and Moogie... Finally, uh, and Mugi reading the throw attempt from Kohide, backdashes out of it and grabs his grabber and even gets a south side switch off of it. And here we go with the clone for the kill. Kohide definitely um, struggling to find his footing. <laughs> and here we go, finally Mugi forced to pop the burst, catches Kohide off guard. And Kohide finds the way out of the corner with the flip kick. Gonna get the wall break. Okay, here we go. Mugi finds the opening. Got the corner pressure. Oh, and immediately cancelled the two. His 6P into the super. Ah! Oh. Pressure a little bit too far to get the animation. He is gonna get the kill though. Good stuff, man. Mugi staying very, very strong. Already 2-0. to zero. Kohide is looking a little bit lost, not gonna lie. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Kohide gets the corner pressure, finds the grab. Ah, very nice 2S counter hit from Mugi. Gets out of the corner. Checking the opponent with the 2k, uh, the 5k, I'm sorry. Ah, and here we go with the overdrive, unfortunately for him. Really thought he was going to be able to punish the recovery, but no. And just like this, Moogie going to take it. Taking the first round of the third match. He needs one more round in order to seal the deal and move on to the grand final where he can hope to have his uh, run back against Yuhi. There we go, Kuide doesn't want to go down without fight. Ah, very nice check right there and confirms from Moogie, man. Here we go, finds the opening with the 2k 2d and 2d, uh... Into the DP, he's gonna get the overdrive. Yuhi is back, yes he is, he's in red final. He's in on the winner side. <clears throat> he's a beast, man, like nobody has been able to, 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 to uh, defeat him. Here we go with the close S counter hit. Look at the conversion station. Yeah, the godlike Melia. He is a godlike. It's crazy. Here we go with the wall break. Okay, Koide needs this one if he wants to stay alive. Very nice air grab. <gasps> this is not going to kill though. Yeah. Ah, uh, wait, I lied. I lied, I lied. Oh, wait, no, I didn't lie actually. Oh, no. Oh, and dear to air for. The kill, and just like this, Moogie takes it very, very good. This is the grand final, the absolute last match of tonight. is going to be none other than Yuhi versus Moogie. Yuhi, arguably one of the best Melia players in Japan currently. <clears throat> was the one who was able to send Moogie out of the uh, tournament. Oh, not uh, uh, Glad Broder is back. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> That's good to hear, man. Very much appreciated. Okay, and let's see... How this pans out. Oh, here we go with Moogie really trying to hit Yuhi out of the air using a uh, jumping K. We shall see how this pans out. Let's see if Yuhi takes this again. Yeah, that would be sick if he does though. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, good. 6P right there from Moogie hits uh, Yuhi out of the air. Ah, uh, he probably tried to quick cancel into the command grab. That'd be nice. Comment vas-tu? Oh, bienvenue au stream. 
and here we go with the pressure everything's real look at this the seriously like the that it's it, it's true that Yuhi is really really good at like offense and such, but I am equally impressed as at, at uh, Mugi's capability of blocking all of the mixes. It's really crazy. So let's see how this pans out. Good for S. Good stuff from Yuhi finds the opening with the 2K to the couldn't get the punish on the 4S. Find you as you toujours to rock and chill and uh, on your stream today, so it's ah that's good to hear. It's nice. Ça fait toujours plaisir de te voir ici, mec. Ok, and here we go with... <laughs> oh lord. Oh girl, boom. Yeah, this is death for Milia. Goodbye. Oh, okay, yeah, let's see how this comes out. Yuhi is the best. Yeah, Yuhi is pretty sick, not gonna lie. It's always a pleasure to see him play. Ok, on to the next battle. Let's see how this comes out. Ooh. Ok, very nice jump out from Yuhi. Finds the opening. And it goes for the empty low for the opening. Oh lord, what the hell was that? That was awesome. He's gonna get the wall break. Hmm. <laughs> ah, nice forest. Ah, couldn't quite get the uh, the conversion though. Ah, he went for the bad moon. And is this gonna kill? Oh, yes, it is. Very, very well done from you. He takes the lead with one to zero. <laughs> Is Yuhi going to take it t uh, today as well? That would be crazy, man. Yuhi is such a beast. <laughs> okay, and here we go with the pressure. The fake cross-up, man. Yeah, do you see? It's crazy, right? Okay, finally forces Mugi to pop the burst. Okay, no entire red there. Yuhi pop the burst as well. Okay, you can see Mugi really trying to entire Yuhi to keep him, to keep him grounded. Oh lord, that, that's how you freaking block that. Okay, unfortunately for you, he is in the corner. Oh lord, and that air to air, man. He was waiting for this. He was definitely waiting for this. It was crazy good. Goes for the MTLO again. Goes for the cross up this time around. And this is probably gonna do. Yeah, yeah, it's death. Death by Choo Choo. Good stuff from Yuhi. Takes the lead, a sizable lead, by the way. If he wins this one, he's gonna be up 2 0. It's gonna be a really big upside battle for Mugi. Here we go with the uh, overhead this time around. For S Man doing the job. <laughs> ah, okay, he gets scooped by the content. Okay, very nicely done. Yuhi gets out of the corner. Ah, and oh, too far to kill. And Yuhi unfortunately popped the tension. Yeah, gonna get punished. Good stuff. Good stuff from Moogie. 26 months. Yeah, that's crazy. Ah, 26 months. Damn. Damn. Merci beaucoup, Nice. Ça fait vraiment très plaisir. Tu déchires, tu déchires. Yuhi neutral is stellar. It is, man. It really, really is. Merci pour le sub, Nice. Ça fait vraiment plaisir. 26 mois, t'imagines. C'est un truc d'ouf, enfin plus de deux ans hein, maintenant qu'on y pense. Hein. Deux ans et deux mois quoi, c'est ouf. Ouais. Merci beaucoup, hein. j'apprécie vraiment beaucoup Nice. And here we go with the air to air. And again with the <coughs> burst that popped by Yushi man. Yushi Stellar is really stellar, it definitely is. Yushi neutral is very stellar. What the hell did I just say? <laughs> Anyways, here we go with the YRC. Yushi really trying to... <coughs> oh lord, here we go with the jump in. Yep, yeah, I discovered you thanks to Sun Sun. Yeah, right. I know, right? I wish that Sun Sun would continue streaming as well. He doesn't stream nearly as much as what he used to before. Casual polyglot. <laughs> yes, casually. Yes, I am. I don't speak uh, Japanese as good as English and French, though, but uh, I get myself understood, so. That being said, here we go. Yuhi trying to get that last, that last hit. He's been trying to hit him for like the past 10 minutes. Like just finding the correct op uh, opening and just finishing the job. But yeah, it was so hard for him. Okay, on to potential final match of the, of tonight. Yeah, Bumpy versus Messi, exactly. So by that logic, Mugi is going to reset the bracket. Go uh, until the, the absolute last last uh, match of uh, the, la the last round of the last match and he's going to lose on a he's going to lose on a wake up overdrive <laughs> sun doesn't really have the time anymore yeah yeah obviously okay here we go with the the schmixes is real Mugi is not happy he wants to bring it back 
here we go with the empty low. Very nicely done. <coughs> oh my lord, putain, Akemi, t'es malade Qu'est-ce que tu fais Mon dieu, Akemi, tu fais plaisir. Merci beaucoup, Akemi. La vache, mais t'as de... Oh, t'as fait combien de subs C'est un truc de ouf Merci, Akemi. Vraiment, vraiment, vraiment très apprécié, mec. Hein. Oh, la vache Akem, tu fais plaisir, gros. Tu fais vraiment plaisir, merci beaucoup. J'apprécie énormément, mec. Ah, la vache, Akem ça fait plaisir. Ah ouais, c'est un truc de ouf, hein, t'as vu Yo Thank you so much, Akemi. Really, really much appreciated. Copain de Noël, on a... Ah bah ça, c'est un très, très... Ouais. Thank you very much, man. Ça, ça fait très plaisir, Akemi. Tu, tu déchires. Eh bien, ça va faire mon Noël, ça. Je vais bien manger. <laughs> merci, Akemi. Merci, merci. Oh, definitely. Akemi being here, man. The bro. Ah, he's been here ever since the start, man. Akemi is part of the... Part of the... The first ones, you know. So yeah, it's always a pleasure to have him here. And that being said, we are going back to the uh, to the uh, the match, and so far so good. Milia, Yui on the uh, tournament point. Actually, if, if he wins this one, it's over for uh, for Mugi. Si je suis le seul à ne pas avoir été pour problème, t'inquiète. C'est la vie. But just like this, actually, Mugi, yeah, Mugi is gonna bring it back. He's gonna bring one more uh, match on the corner on the on the on the board. Mais encore vraiment merci à Kevin Sudé, ça fait tellement plaisir. Okay, and here we go. Hopefully, uh, Yuki is going to be able to, or well, Mugi is actually gonna be able to bring it back. He got some momentum back from the previous uh, from the previous match. C'est très serré, ouais, j'avoue. Okay, here we go. Ah, I guess good by the two HS. Okay, here we go with the command grab from Mugi. Ah, here we go with the quick dusk. Oh, this was this made so much, man. <laughs> very, very, very. <laughs> and here we go with Mugi again, taking the lead, by the way, on, in this uh, in this current match. Let's see if he can keep it up. Are we looking at a uh, at a bracket reset? If that's the case, that would be pretty crazy. <clears throat> Let's see how this pans out. <coughs> okay, here we go with the top from Yuhi. Oh, okay, he goes for the empty low again. Yeah, Mugi definitely not liking this empty low. <laughs> and he goes for the newly added buff of Melia, the uh, side switch. Oh, Lord! Definitely sensing that Mugi was gonna go for a uh, Beyblade right after the Fukio. Let's see, this is tournament points, ladies and gentlemen. Are we gonna be able to... Is Yuki gonna be able to seal the deal? Good stuff by Yuki. Takes the lead. Gonna get the wall break. Positive bonus. Oh! Gets the 4S. Converts with the RC. He still has the corner position. Goes for the empty low. He goes for the side switch. Oh, almost there. Saved by the bell. Oh, and here we go. Yes, this is the time that Nagoriyuki can shine. <clears throat> oh, Lord, he went for the bad mood. How do you want to block this? That was crazy. And just like this, Yuki is your number 63.